champions. We got a brand new character to preview, and it is Bret Hart NWO 2000. As usual, I do not have Bret Hart yet. He was sent to me by Scopely so that I can do this preview, and I don't get to keep him. Although, we'll be getting him on the very first milestone of the upcoming talent event at one star, and we can actually even get up to a three star version from the talent up from what we saw on the blog update. So, let's get on with it. He is a striker. We're going to see the footage at 4 star gold. His trainer ability at 9k is move that destroy row break gems will destroy two more row break gems. Only has one set of gear and has a link with the new world order and the attitude era. So, let's see. The first move set we're going to have a look at is the black green green. It is the spiked pile driver 11 black MP finisher deals 23.7k damage and swap a 2x4 random area to black gems. The pendulum backbreaker 9 MP green move deals 17.2k damage and choose 3 gems to make into black gems. And the suplex 6 MP green move deals 7k damage and makes 6 random gems into multiply gems of strength 2. Kind of looks a little like Volkov, except the multiply gems are on random and not specifically on black. And the finisher is completely different. It does a shitload of damage. We'll actually use the exact same moves, but a complete different setup on the next video. You'll see about that finisher quite nasty but let's have a look at this this is probably what's going to be used the most common like the most common setup i would think so at least on paper uh, trainers are going to be steel and titus to have those choose be a seven instead of a four uh, Coaches are Triple H and Elias. Can actually use, like, Elias is definitely not needed there because the black is definitely going to be filled up more than enough with the uh, backbreaker here. You could be using the brand new uh, NWO Big Show, uh, which would uh, basically have more blacks on the starting board, or you, you can even uh, use, uh, is it uh no we don't have it yet <laughs> the i'm guessing the next all of famer to be released would be the black one because that's the only color that is missing right now we just got the green with uh, scott all so i'm guessing the next one whenever it's gonna be should be the black one but uh, yeah you could or you could use a six also that would work or ronda that would work also as a coach so all right let's have a look at this Right. Okay, so we do have our green, perfect. Oh, having some audio problem. We'll fix that for the next one. Alright, so we're going to start by making the multiply gems. Unfortunately, those are random. Now we're going to do the choose move. Now it's a nine instead of a seven. So I suspect there may be a plus two bonus from the monthly bonus. We'll check that on the next one as well. Trying to link to extra gems here. I did 260 right there. Oh, looks like he's going to kick. No, he did not kick. He almost did kick out of it. If he didn't, we would have had the finisher that would have like basically took all his health back. So this is probably the most like reliable spec for him. All right. Now let's look at that other setup I was talking about.
All right, small variation of the same moveset. So we're keeping the black, green, green. This time trainers are gonna be bright to start with more black and Volkov so that gem black gems are 35% stronger. You could be using also, I believe it's Dude Love that does the same thing. I'm not, I don't think there's another one. I think it's Volkov and Dude Love that do 35% more damage. Basically, it's all gonna be about that finisher hitting like a truck. Even better if you get the right medals and strap combo boosting those, that's even more insane. Uh, we're gonna keep Triple H and Elias as uh, coaches here. Basically, this time we're gonna try to go for the finisher right away. And we're gonna have a backup of the green if we can't get what we want. Even have the choose to load that finisher again. Uh, although the finisher should pretty much load itself. So, all right. Let's do this. Keep me doing this again, set. All right, so this time we're basically looking for a black match as soon as possible. All right, well, well, we got a four match. It's even better. Having a four match, that means that on the second turn you can get that move right away. Normally that wouldn't be the case. You would need with a three match, even with Elias as a coach, it wouldn't be ready on the second turn. So take into account that it's most likely gonna be turn three and not turn two like it's gonna be right now. All right, hopefully it's gonna land with others. It did not. Refill the move. He's unlikely to lose out of this. Well, <laughs> he did. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I spoke too soon. So again, take into account, it's very likely they're going to kick out of the first. Like, unless you jack it up with uh, straps and medals is more than likely gonna kick out the first one but your move is gonna be ready to go again on the very next turn and that one is very unlikely to kick out of so again this is right now it definitely worked on a turn two like but it's definitely gonna be more a turn three or four win usually like i'm not recorded again but this was probably the un unusual result being turned to. All right, slightly different setup this time. It's gonna be the Black Black Red 2. It is the Spike Pile Driver 11 MP Black Move Finisher. Deal 23.7k damage and swap a 2x4 area in random area into Black Gems. The DDT 7 MP Black Move deals 14.7k uh, damage and make 5 random gems into red gems. And the Arm Drag 7 MP Red Move deal 13.5k damage and make Make six random gems into black gems. Now the trainers I'm using for the setup, obviously you could go with the exact same thing we just saw with Bray and Volkov or Dude Love. That would work with this setup as well. We're gonna try something different because you can pretty much figure out this one. We just saw it with the, with the green and it worked the same. This time it's gonna be with Bray and Big John Stud. The reason I went with Bray and Big John Stud instead of example, Sting and uh, Titus, which would work also, is because by using Bray, if whatever happens, I'm gonna have that finisher ready faster. Also, uh, if I use Titus, it converts greens into black instead of randoms like the DDT is, and the DDT is gonna be making randoms into red. Also, hitting that finisher, it reloads your black. So basically, I start with the black, my DDT is gonna create the red, I'm gonna reload in the red into black, every time I use a finisher, I'm gonna refill the finisher, and I'm gonna re refill the DDT, which means that pretty much every turn I should have my D DDT ready to make more. So, right, it's, it's probably gonna be pretty effective. Let's uh, let's see in practice. I 
I, I don't think I'm gonna like this better than the first one because I think it's gonna be slower, but it should be definitely very viable for, especially if you expect long match. All right, so we don't have anything to start. So let's get a free turn here. We got lucky with that. Now we got our black. So our finisher is good to go. Before we use the finisher though, we're going to be using this because it's going to be ready next turn from the finisher. It's just hopefully we're not going to end or turn on it. Crap, we are. <laughs> That's what I was afraid was going to happen. And that's probably something that might happen fairly often. Right, let's get out of that. don't want to break black or red but it looks like I won't really have a choice all right so we're gonna use that red move first to drop his health a little that's gonna create also more black on the board Jeez, that almost ended my turn again now we're gonna use the finisher hopefully it's gonna connect on the bunch of black we have yeah Kind of replaced a lot of those we already had. And he kicked out of it. Alright, now there's no use using that. We're going to finish it with the finisher. It works. I can definitely see it working much better if I were to play that match multiple time. I can also see it going much worse if I were to do it multiple time. So this one is definitely a wild card one. It definitely works, but you're probably gonna have different results. So yeah, first one definitely my favorite so far. Right. Alright, last move set. Definitely the one I like the least out of them. It is the green, green, red one, which we haven't seen yet. It is the Pendulum Backbreaker 9 MP green move. Deal 17k damage and choose 3 gems to make into black. The suplex 6 MP green move. Deal 7k damage and make 6 random gems into multiply gems of strength 2. And the diving elbow drop 7 MP red move. Deal 13k damage and make 4 random gems into green gems. Trainers will be using our Sting to start with more, more red and Rezzer to make more greens. We're going to have X-Pack and DX. Basically, this moveset, you use that red move, you generate those greens. With the greens, you make the randoms, and then you match some blacks to them. The problem is you're not matching much black, and also you're not reloading your red. So, eh. That's why I don't like this move set, but we'll give it a shot. Right, we do have the red here. Try to get the green. All right. Let's make multipliers. Let's see if we can get a turn out of this. We won't.
Okay, let's kick out of that. Mm, trying not to burn my good moves. Really have a choice. Alright, so let's put more multipliers. Now, we're going to pick and choose five. Normally it would be three. It's because of the monthly bonus that it's not. I'm going to put one there. Three. We got two more. Actually, let's pick those two. It definitely worked a lot better than I thought it would, but I don't expect it to be that reliable every time. But clearly it does work. so that is it for Brett art pretty cool character i'd say definitely multiple very workable build for him uh, personally my favorite one was the first one so thanks for watching guys if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys Gio.